<laughs> this is why you're dumb. <laughs> like I said, I'm tired of explaining it. Um, and if you would think some more, you might figure these things out more easily. I don't know. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is morning wood. Uh, everybody knows what it is. And I've heard a lot of people like, well, why does that happen? That's so weird. Uh, to me, it's really obvious. You got 10 cavemen, they're all the same. And then at random, one of the cavemen is born that he wakes up in the morning and he's got wood. So he thinks about sex. And so he has more sex and he has more babies. And the babies become people that have it too. And they become everybody and there's where it is. It's really simple. <laughs> Um, why do you get tired after lunch? I, this also goes back to cavemen. So most of our existence was in the times of caveman type development and when a caveman ate a whole bunch of food there was nothing left for him to do at all. You like, that's what you do with your days. You get food and once you got the food you're done. So you just rest and your body's sending you that message. It makes sense. Um, that's it. Cars. All right, that's my car, the little bitty thing. It's tiny and it still weighs way too much. Like, uh, most of the weight of a semi is the cargo. Most of the weight of the car is the car. And you need to demand from manufacturers lighter cars. Why am I talking about weight? Force equals mass times acceleration. It, you take the science out, the amount of gas is the weight times the movement. To, so, however much it weighs, you multiply that by how much you want to move. You're not going to change how much you want to move, but you, the weight affects how much gas you need. Now, there's other things that can affect the gas, but that makes the biggest difference by a huge mar margin. <laughs> Electric cars are not, I, not new. I took this picture at a museum myself. This car was made in 1882, and it's electric. So anytime you see an ad campaign of the brand new concept of the electric, they're full of crap. <laughs> Why are teenagers assholes? <laughs> That's cut off. Oh, uh, they're supposed to be. Again, going back to cavemanish times, the vast majority of human development, 12 or 13 years old, it was time for you to leave home. Oh, that got messed up. Um, <laughs> it was time for you to go. You're done. And so the tension that develops at that time is because it's time for you to break out and leave home. If you never got in conflict with your parents at any point in time, you'd never leave. Why can't I fall asleep? You haven't done anything. <laughs> You go to work and you sit in a chair and then you go shopping and you barely move and then you drive your car all the time and you can't sleep because you haven't moved. What kind of exercise should you do? People of various body types will ask me this question and I can't give you an exact answer because it's different for everybody but the same thing is you should do something that you enjoy because if you don't enjoy it you're going to stop doing it and it won't make any difference anyway. I, that's actually me in the top right doing parkour. I also like to dance. Lots of people will skate. That, I think that guy's a power lifter. Look how big his arms are. Um, but do stuff you like. Why are all movies remakes? Because of finance. Because the people lending the money to make the movie say, I want you to demonstrate beyond a shadow of a doubt that this movie will make as much money as I want it to make. The only way you can prove that is if you've already done it. And so they have to do remakes, which is against what works for art. That's supposed to be in the middle. It was weird. <laughs> And so art gets destroyed by this financial construct, which is unfortunate, but it's not actually anybody's fault. What is all this Occupy crap? <laughs> it is not a bunch of people asking for handouts. It's not uh, lazy folks, and it's not idiots. It's simply people standing up and saying, hey, there's corruption in, go yeah. there's corruption in government. We all know it. There are extremely rich people and politicians working in collusion, at least to some extent, and that's going against the public interest. We know it. The founding fathers wrote that there should be separation of church and state because churches were the only things in their time that became so powerful they were overtaking governments. Our Constitution was made with the idea that it's possible to change it over time as these problems come up and it's time for a change to happen. Finally, I'm wrong about something in this. Probably. If I'm wrong, 
tell me. Talk to me about it or work it out with your friends. Thank you and thank more. <laughs> I'm gonna get this off.